And actually, you know, you know what? Here's where I'm going to suppress my ego. I could say some shit, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much you have or don't have. What matters is how you treat other people. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people value money more. I've, I've, in life, period, a lot of people value money a lot more than. But you know what's crazy? Uh, French connection, bro. Like that, that, that's why they won't last, bro. People that are only focused on the money will have no longevity in this game. (laughs) They won't because they're not focused on building relationships. They're not focused. Look. I'll be honest with you, Quicks has already had probably three or four times to probably <clears throat> hate me from here all the way to fucking Egypt, right? Because we've done we've done some stuff and, you know, some business has gone really well. Some business has gone not so well. And whether it goes good or bad, you could ask him if I switched up on him, if I didn't do what I was supposed to do, if I, if I took the fucking hit on the chin, right? Me and my side. And oh. the point I'm trying to get to is I'm, I was focused on the relationship, not on the paycheck. I don't care if I ended up making off money off quick or not. What I cared was that he was happy with with his dealings with me. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's I think a lot of people in this business lack honor. Just be honorable. Just stand on business. That's that's the number one thing you can do, especially with me. Just stand on business. Be honorable. Don't 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 be out here trying to. Get get to the next level off my back. You know what I'm hey, saying? But and you also have to remember too, level. man. Oh, these Frenchies yeah. don't talk, bro. We do the talking for them. So these dogs have nothing to do with it. It's the breeders behind them that are the ones that do well or do bad. It's it's it's, it's us. You know what? I these dogs don't fucking talk. They don't hop on planes by themselves. They don't drive themselves to shows. They don't. You know what I mean? It's yeah. it's the people oh. behind them that decide to do good or bad behind the dog. But like- longevity doing that great business like that doing sale after sale you're building your clientele where those people tell their people you make a sale to them goes on and on on that's where you build your rapport that's where you get your stripes to continually see sell studs and pup by doing great business you know yeah yes sir you definitely want to bring the people that that's investing with you you i like I don't I don't want for there to be somebody that invests in my program and then I elevate and I'm not break they and and you can clearly see them not elevating that it shouldn't be like that mm-hmm. like if I'm getting to the next level you should be coming with me because you dealing with the same shit that I'm dealing with you know what I'm saying Yeah man you just never know bro you just never know like <laughs> Look, man, you just like empathy is something that I feel like every breeder should should should, should, should fucking tune into because we we don't know what people have going on, bro. And it is what it is. It's not my responsibility to babysit anyone or for anyone to babysit me or what I do. But we just got to fucking understand that everyone wants to be a CEO. Everyone wants to be this big old ego, like Quick's saying, like, you know what I mean? Everyone wants to be wants to be quick to get authority and shit on people when in reality you're doing it wrong man like the, the bigger you get the more humble you should be the bigger you get the more you should the more value you should provide to the community right the, the more you should educate people because that's your buying pool if you're going around educating your buying pool right that's good for you that's good for me that's good for joe that's good for, that's good for quick that's good for everyone but if you're going around stirring the pot and miseducating and misinforming you're fucking it up for everyone yep. that's a fact big facts yeah, so, you know, I don't come, I don't come from Frenchies, bro. I don't come from the streets. I don't come from the bullies, bro. I was in a corporate setting, bro. I was in a corporate setting, running multiple, multiple very high net worth, like, fucking, very expensive companies that were grossing over a billion dollars. You know, I was getting paid very high salaries. Like, I understand how to run a business, and that's the one thing that most of these fools in this game do not know how to do. A lot of people come from that setting as well. You know, and I don't, and I don't say that to brag. That's about as that's about as uh, braggadocious as I'll get on this live, right? But nah, man, learn to learn, learn to run your business, learn to love what you do, and learn to be humble around your people, and you'll never be hungry in your life ever. Be a blessing to somebody else, man. Be a blessing. Be kind. And again, you do not know what the next person is going, regardless of what they have on their face. They might have invested thirty thousand of their last uh, money. Uh-huh. Nothing- and they have five G's left, and they're depending on you, and they're expecting a certain thing. So, guys, always be mindful of, like, social media is crazy. People get crazy. They talk loud. They say this. They that. We're all human beings. And, again, have no idea what the next person is going to do. Always be mindful. 
Hey, and just like just like what you said, Joe. Imagine if someone goes and invests their last thirty thousand in their savings, and they're they're down to their last mortgage payment in the bank. They trust you with it because they want to trust you. They don't tell you that you do well by them. Do you think that if you help them turn that thirty to one hundred, they're not going to come back and shop with you again? Well, you know what I'm saying? They'll be dude. That those are the kind of people you you will have loyal to you forever if you do well by them. Outside of dogs. Yeah, man. Boy, man I mean, look. Yeah, dude. I mean, look. All these people on this live, you never know. We may connect at a dog show. We may hit it off, and before you know it, we're we're investing in real estate. We're doing trucking. We're doing mobile grooming. We're doing barber. This. We're doing logistics companies. We're doing, you know, asset classes, credit building, all kinds of different shit that a, a lot of us, a lot of us have different backgrounds outside of dogs that we don't talk about, that we could always put people onto, but no one gives each other the chance because they're just so fucking focused on stepping on necks and stepping on heads to get ahead. Even if you're not, even if you're not doing it together. It's good to have people that you, that you connect with that are good with logistics, that are, you know.